Hi friends, welcome back to Decorate with Dana. Happy New Year, and I hope everybody had a great New Year's celebration. Ours was very quiet. It was actually my daughter, her boyfriend, my husband and I, and we just kind of hung out and played some games and we're in bed by like 10.30, so. Anyways, it was quiet, but it was good, and I'm super happy to start off 2021. So today I'm going to be kicking off my winter decorating series, and of course I'm going to start with my coffee bar because that's my favorite place to start almost every seasonal decor. So I can't wait to share that with you. It is going to be winter, but just a very neutral, um, cozy kind of coffee bar. I have a couple of DIYs that I made that I want to share with you all and very easy. They're using my Cricut, but again, there's always alternate ways to be able to um, do things. You actually don't need a Cricut to do this. You could just print them out and Mod Podge them onto whatever you're doing. So I will quickly show you those super simple little DIYs that I'm using on my coffee bar and then we will get started. These DIYs do not need to just go on a coffee bar. If you don't have one, you can use them anywhere around your home. So we are going to get started with decorating the coffee bar for winter. So the first project I wanted to work on was a sign for above my coffee bar using the chalkboard that I leave up there all the time. So I was going to use my Cricut and I am using the removable vinyl so when I am done with this sign I can easily take it off and use the chalkboard for anything else that I want. So I wanted to make a sign that said it's a marshmallow world in the winter. So I just kind of briefly show you real quick on my Cricut how I um, you know make that very quickly and then I just adhere that vinyl to the chalkboard so you can make this any other way other than with a Cricut you can print out the letters and just Mod Podge them on I don't know that they would be as easily removable but you could just make a sign you doing it that way so or you can use a stencil or something so you don't necessarily need to have a Cricut to make this sign but I have one so I'm going to utilize it So the next thing I wanted to make was just an artificial marshmallow garland. I made one of these similar in a DIY just before Christmas, so I do kind of speed through this. Um, I, re I purchased these artificial marshmallows from Joann's around Christmas time, and I just wanted to make a really simple little garland. You'll see I added one of the bigger marshmallows, but I ended up taking that off and just making it all with the smaller marshmallows. I wanted it to be very simple and then I used this baker's twine and kind of spaced them out to hang above the sign. So I am so pleased with how this came out. I've seen a lot of chalkboards at like Goodwill and stuff. So you definitely could go get this for very inexpensive. And I just think it'd be really cute even on a fireplace mantle if you don't have a coffee bar or somewhere else in your home. So I was really happy with how this turned out. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. So the next little DIY, I picked up a pack of these little wooden plates from Goodwill. 
quite a while ago and I've had them. I had a couple that were extra that I didn't use yet. I think the pack of six, they had a price of $5.99 on the bottom, but then I did get them for 50% off. So super inexpensive, like 50 cents a plate. And then again, I just cut out a, um, a little tree scenery on my Cricut and then I also did a snowflake and I just put them on these plates and it makes a really cute little winter accessory for a shelf or anything that you wanna use it on. And then again, it's removable vinyl so you can take it off and make something different for another season. Okay, so here is the way that the picture looks above the coffee bar. I love this picture. I think it's so cute. And then that little marshmallow banner that I also made, just hung that up there because I always have that hook up there um, for wreaths or whatever. So I think that the banner looks really cute hanging there and the hook was already there to be able to hang it easily. And then I hung my coffee sign back up there. Otherwise, I don't have really anything besides my coffee pots. Um, this again is the Nespresso Cities. Don't mind in there. That's where all my other decorating stuff is. This is my Nespresso Cities. This is my frother. I love it. I will have it linked down in my Amazon store. And then we do have the Keurig K Cafe, which we love. And then I don't have anything down here on these shelves for now. So we are going to go ahead and get started. I'll give you a quick glimpse of what I plan on using today. Okay, so these are the items that I, you know, hope to use. I don't know for sure. We'll see. And I may be pulling things from other areas also. But these are those four mugs that I got on Wayfair. I love these mugs. And then I have a baby. It's cold outside. Just some random things. This is that new little glass creamer that I got from Amazon. This is my little flake salt holder. I use this on some certain lattes and some hot cocoa recipes. So I like to just keep a little bit of flake salt there at the coffee bar. And then I normally have those anchor jars and I love them. The only thing I don't like about them is they don't seal. So if you want to be able to put something to keep it a little bit fresher in, then I like these. I found these at Hobby Lobby and these are the lids and so they actually like seal on there. So I did get one of the large ones, two of these smaller ones. These were very inexpensive. They were 50% off today. I wanna say the big one was normally $6.99, so 50% off, you know, very reasonably priced. And then I'm going to use this as my sugar, um, holder and again it just has a little sealed top and then I love that this is wood because I'm trying to incorporate a lot of woods in here also. So this is that homemade hot cocoa towel that I had at Christmas time. I love it so I'll probably put that back over at the coffee bar. 
These are those two very inexpensive DIYs. These were a six pack of plates from the, do or not the Dollar Tree, from Goodwill, and they were $6.99, but then they were 50% off of that, and it came with six of them. So I had a couple left. I've used other ones for other DIYs. So I just made these little winter kind of scenes or whatever pictures, I printed them out on my Cricut, just the snowflake and the trees, and put them on there, and that was an easy, cheap DIY. I'm gonna use this table runner under the glass. I think I'm gonna use this one. Again, just incorporating the black and white, keeping it very neutral. And then I have, not that candle, I just have that lit. But this pitcher is from the at-home store. I've had that for a while. I may incorporate that on there. I picked these up at um, Michael's just yesterday, so over the weekend, and they were normally, let me see, $7.99 and I got them for 90% off. So very inexpensive. Pine cones to me are still very much winter. This is from Hobby Lobby and I just love this storage container. So it's like a metal container with a wood top. And I have a lot of things I wanna store at the coffee bar that I don't necessarily wanna display. So I have a lot of extra pods and some you know, syrups and stuff that I won't be probably displaying, but I can keep there that I can just literally pull out and be able to reach whatever I need. This is an old coffee percolator that I picked up at an antique store in Virginia. And then these are actually Valentine's Day. They were at Hobby Lobby. They're just these little buffalo plaid hearts. I just thought they were really cute. So they may or may not be used here also. This is not Valentine's Day decor. This is just winter, but I thought they were really cute. I have a couple risers. I have my little wooden spoons that I love so much to keep at the coffee bar. I have this for some cookies. This is from the Hearth and Hand new collection. I think it was like $19.99 and I like that it's just a flat one. So I did grab that. This was from Michael's. This was also 90% off. I think it was normally $8.99 or something. So very inexpensive. And then I just have a black scoop. So that is it. This is everything I'm gonna use. These have all been washed and anything that's going to hold food has already been washed and dried and ready to go. So.
Okay, so here is how my winter coffee bar came out. Very neutral, just incorporated a lot of black and white, glass and wood, and a little bit of greenery. And I love the way it turned out. I think it's just really pretty and kind of classic looking. So up here, I think that this little DIY project really just made the coffee bar and made it feel like a really wintry coffee bar. So again, you saw me make that, and then I just kind of added a few little things. I love these glass jars. So I originally had the Dunkin' Pods in there, and they just, you know, we just don't like them enough. We actually don't really hardly ever use them. So the hot cocoa pods. So we like the powdered better. So I just added some of those little buffalo plaid hearts in there, and I think that looks so cute. And just added a few more little wintry pieces and a few more of those little buffalo plaid hearts, and I love that. And then down here, these mugs are gorgeous. They are nice, big mugs. They remind me of Ray Dunn as far as size, and so I love those. I think they're so cute to keep out all winter. And then I only have four, and that, so on the end hook here, I just added this little wreath, um, which was fine because honestly, it's a little hard being right behind this coffee pot to get a mug off anyway. So I think that worked out. And then down here, you saw I kept it pretty simple. This is just that flake sea salt that I like to use on some coffee recipes. And then over here, this is just my Grove Collaborative little tray that I put underneath the sugar and creamer. I had that other sugar bowl. It was just a little too big. I just didn't like the way it looked. This one is from, I think, Target. It was part of the Pioneer Woman collection. I got this probably a year ago at least. And then I just have my little gingerbread men toppers back there. And then coming down here, I made a cute little vignette in this little wicker tray. Again, wicker adding some texture and then the towel and the greenery and the wood. So I love the way all of those different textures just come together. And then I added the little wooden house and that other little DIY plate that I made. And then down here, I just like this bottom one simple. First of all, it hides any cords that are back there, but plus I have all my extras that we need, so I can literally just pull this tin out and get out of here whatever else that we might want for our coffee or hot cocoa. And so this was just how everything turned out. So I wanna thank you so much for watching. This, like I said, is my very first winter decorating video. There's plenty more to come, so if you're new, I would love it if you would subscribe over here. And also check out my other channel. I did upload a kind of day in the life vlog, taking down Christmas, how I store my Christmas decor, and a couple recipes last Friday on my other channel. And I'm going to try to upload at least once a week those type of videos over there. So I'm gonna leave that channel also linked down in the description box. If you want to go check it out, I would appreciate it. So thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in my next decorating video over here and perhaps another kind of vlog day in the lifestyle video over on my other channel. I hope you all have a great day and happy new year.